you all for being here today to celebrate this very special moment with us. Today, for the very first time, we are raising the official Juneteenth flag to commemorate the Juneteenth holiday that is celebrated each year by thousands of people in our country, particularly African Americans. We are extremely proud to be among the first, if not the first, actually the second, because I believe that Mayor Brown did this earlier this week, a uh, public entity um, and, and government, especially here in the city of Rochester, in the surrounding region, to fly this important symbol of the African American freedom of our country. It will fly for the next five days as a reminder that true freedom and independence really didn't happen for all Americans until June 19, 1865. You see, Juneteenth celebrates the total liberation of black people from slavery in the United States, a full two months after the end of the Civil War and two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation. That's when the slaves in Texas finally got word that slavery had been abolished and they were now free. As you can imagine, this announcement was cause for tremendous celebration and that's what we pay tribute to this, this day and each and every year as we celebrate Juneteenth. I wanna take a moment to thank a very special person who is largely responsible for today's flag raising ceremony, ceremony and that individual is Ms. Gloria Johnson Hovey. Her daughters are here with us today. So thank you so very much. Their mom is out of town and we wanted to tell her that we truly appreciate her for calling our office, uh, for asking us to do this. Every year she runs and participates in a Juneteenth marathon and we are proud of our citizens that make sure that we are inclusive and doing everything that we can to make sure that we lift up the city of Rochester. We have a rich history of liberation and freedom we are the hometown of the renowned abolitionist and order, Frederick Douglass, whom himself was born a slave. It is also fitting that we raise the Juneteenth flag this morning to honor his legacy and the legacy of countless other individuals who withstood the hardships, cruelty of slavery, and whose blood, sweat, and tears helped build this country and make it what it is today. Let us fly this flag as a reminder for those that are still faced with oppression May it give them hope that better days lie ahead. And may it give us all the motivation that we need to continue to fight for justice, for freedom, and for equality for all of God's people. 